Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, overnight, investors appeared relieved that the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell's testimony to Congress did not include any major surprises. During the hearing, Fed Chairman said that the central bank plans to move as aggressively as needed to call inflation. If we have to rise interest rates more than over time, that is, we will, he went on to say. He added that rather than a diminishing job growth, a policy tightening was necessary to maintain the economic expansion. While the central bank has made no decision about shrinking its balance sheet, he added, saying also that it's a long road to normal for monetary policy. From that, the markets were a little bit whipsawed. And as you can see from the Australian dollar, it's respected the level of 71.60. And now looking back towards the top side of the range, that is around 72.25 as minor. And above there, the 60-day moving average is a little bit lower. It's around 60 to 75. Nevertheless, from the technical aspect, I feel that the market may continue its upward challenge because the RSI has broken just through the midway point, but the MACD is still somewhat lackluster and therefore should find a little bit more difficulty as it gets closer to the 60-day moving average. And if so, we could see a downturn from there and look back for a re-challenge of the level of 71.60, which I still feel is vulnerable. A break beneath there would give further scope down towards 70.90, where the base is in the short term. The euro has respected this short term uptrend, which comes in around 112.70.90. And where the current price of action is, seems to be heading for is up towards that top side of the range around 114 figure 40. Although the dollar index did slip on the back of the Fed, nevertheless, the market is still likely to coast sideways in its pattern since it was established around early November last year. I feel the market may have a little bit more upstretch in the intraday outlook, but eventually will turn down turn and look back towards the support seen around 112.7090. Bit choppy for Donnie Yen, but nevertheless still on course or on track, that is to the top the bottom side of the range, which is seen around 114.60. I feel that the market, from a technical point, remains negative, and if the MACD does get a break beneath this level here, could see further indication to the downside. Moving on to sterling, the market is still relatively strong. As I mentioned yesterday, the bulls weren't led in the market at stage any pullback, and instead looked towards that 136.10 level, which is now broken. The next target to the top side comes in around 136.7090, which is somewhere around this level here. And then the next level for the objective is around 137.70, and reassess from there. Technically, the pattern is still relatively bullish. The CAD yen story didn't come through to the bear case as anticipated due to the bearish outside range day not being confirmed. From that, the market is now looking back towards the top side of the range, which is seen somewhere around 91.80. If that fails to hold, then there may be a further squeeze down up to um, 92.55, where I've outlined here. In light of gold's pattern, the market's a little bit stronger due to the weaker US dollar. The RSI is stronger, but I wouldn't get too carried away because the MACD is still relatively weak and therefore could see this pattern, like previously, was relatively strong for three days and gave it all back in one. So the third day, as we're going into now, could see a little bit of a struggle as we get towards that top side of the range, around 1,800 at 28 to 33, and with 42 cap in the top side. In light of the oil pattern, the market's respected the midway point on the RSI and taken out the $80 mark. This has now given room to see a further rise to that two-month cap, which is seen roughly around 81 to about 83. In light of the pattern here, the market is still relatively strong, so not a place to get short as yet and see how we are looking when we get closer towards that 81, 83 area. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, grab the intro report, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.